things we do at the beginning of Advent is we decorate the church. We have, in past times, had a little party where we'd come together and have supper, and a bunch of us would hang the garlands and the banners up, and we'd get this place all spruced up for Christmas. And one of the things that we put out every year is a nativity scene. Did you happen to see the big nativity on your way in in the entrance? Yeah? There's one there, we have one here, there's one in the sanctuary. And the nativity shows us a picture of Mary and Joseph, and there should be a baby, and often there are wise men and shepherds. And they kind of tell us the story in uh, statues uh, that Sophie just read to us. So we put it out every year to remind us about Jesus' birth. We're going to have some special music now, a piano duet, and it'll be a familiar tune to you.
So in the story that Sophie told about Jesus, we heard about shepherds and sheep and about a donkey that Mary rides to Jerusalem. We see that there are animals in the nativities, not this one, but in the one in the entrance hall. But the question I have for you is that if Jesus was born in a stable, Siri is talking to me. Sorry, Siri. I don't need you right now. If Jesus was born in a stable, do you think there would be more animals with him? I think so. So I want to share a story with you about the unfriendly animals that were there when Jesus was born. Now, this is where you guys come in. Do you guys have a blue bag with you? Okay, dig into your blue bag and grab out the animal puppet that has on a popsicle stick. This is your animal. I want you to take one quick moment to think about the animal sound your animal would make. Got it? Got it in your head? Okay, we're going to try this out. And people who are at home, just pick your favorite animal and make the noise. No one will know. Goats. Anybody have a goat? What's the sound? Okay, we're going to need help here, friends, because there's not a lot of us here. Goats. Sheep. Cow. Chicken? Duck? This is a tricky one. Dove? Oh, very nice. Mouse? Cat? Dog? Awesome. And donkey? Okay, I think we got it. Now, when you hear the word animals, everybody needs to make their sound all at once, okay? So I'm gonna try it right now. Ready? Three, two, one, animals. Oh, okay, I'll let that go, but you gotta get louder. Before we get into our story, though, we're gonna sing one hymn, and we're gonna sing the carol, Jesus Our Brother, and we're gonna sing three verses of it, and it tells a little bit of the story of the animals. So let's sing these verses together. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. It probably took Mary and Joseph a week to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Story goes that Joseph walked while Mary rode a donkey because she was so very pregnant. The road was dusty. There was no such thing as a sidewalk, and it was pretty darn hilly in that part of Palestine. It was a hard, long journey. When Mary, Joseph, and the donkey arrived in Bethlehem, they were all tired. 
There was no place for them to stay. All the rooms were full, and because Mary was about to have her baby, they needed to find some space real quick. The animals in the stable were not happy when the innkeeper told Mary and Joseph that they could stay in their stable. It was already crowded. There were goats, some sheep, and a cow. There were chickens and ducks, a dove or two, mice, cats, and dogs. Not to mention donkeys who belonged to the other travelers at the inn. When the animals when the animals heard that there were going to be humans added to the crowd in the stable, they grumbled. The littlest mouse was outraged. He knew that humans were dangerous and noisy creatures. The goats, they stamped their feet on the stable floor. There was hardly enough to eat as it was. And the donkeys, while they brayed that they were tired of spending time around the humans that made them work so hard. The dogs, they worried that the change in routine would mess everything up. And the cats, well, to be honest, the cats didn't care. <laughs> they decided to wash their paws instead. Together, all the animals They all decided that there was no room in the stable either, and they had made sure that everybody knew their complaints. I'm going to invite you to sing verses 1 and 4 of the first Noel. If we add one more soul, this place will be a zoo. There was so much noise from the animals that the so much noise that the innkeeper rushed to the stable to see what was going on. And when the innkeeper opened the door to the stable, something amazing happened. The light from a single star, an especially bright one, shining from the sky shone on the doorway and lit up the corner of the stable where the chickens the chickens were sitting and the chicken felt her heart warm grow warm and she clucked out to the other creatures in the stable letting them know she thought that they ought to stay and let the humans hang out 
She's asked if they couldn't share the manger with the baby that was coming. And once she stopped clucking, everyone else in the stable, who have very good hearing, by the way, heard the sound of singing outside. And it wasn't music from humans. It was angels' music. It was perfect and wonderful. The cow, she mooed to her friends that they were refined and domesticated animals, and surely if she could share her hay, then all of them could do something for the family. The dove, the dove cooed that there was always room in the rafters if anyone wanted to join them. When the door of the stable opened, the complaining settled down to a murmur, and the creatures watched as the young couple came into the stable the animals were surprised. The animals were surprised at how tired and gentle the two of them were. And the creatures sensed that these two humans were good people. So the animals, they moved back a bit and made room for the couple in the corner where the hay was fresh. The stable grew quiet. It was that night in the stable when Mary gave birth to her son and named him Jesus. And the animals, they were surprised. They were surprised to see how very much like their own babies he was. Tiny, helpless, and cold. Oh, they couldn't help themselves. They fell in love with that tiny baby. So they gave him gifts. The cow gave him a manger. The sheep gave wool to wrap around him to keep warm. The dove sang him to sleep. The dog, well, he sat beside the manger to protect the baby. And the cat, well, she watched from the corner, contemplating curling up with the wool and the baby. All the animals... <laughs> They all in the stable greeted the shepherds when they came to see for themselves what the angels had been singing about. So this Christmas and every Christmas when we receive presents from the people who love us and when we remember the baby born in the stable, we remember that it was the goats, the sheep, the cows, the chickens, the ducks, the doves, the mice, the cats, the dogs, and the donkeys, who were among the first to see the baby Jesus and were the first to welcome him, just as we do. We're going to sing together the last three verses of Jesus, our brother.
One last tradition that we usually end our service on Christmas Eve with is with singing Silent Night. And not only do we sing Silent Night, but we usually do it with candlelight. We're not going to do candles today, but I'm going to invite you to go into your blue bags again and pull out a glow stick. And I'm going to invite you to break the glow stick if you can, and hopefully they'll work. And give them a shake. Uh-oh. Sorry, Mr. Tanner. And these will be like our candles as everybody's working. Mostly. Barb, would you mind grabbing the lights? And we'll sing Silent Night together. Well, friends, it's Christmas Eve. I pray that you leave this place with the story of the animals in your heart. I pray that you are able to go into your celebrations remembering what's at the heart of it. And I pray that the light that you carry with you in the form of our glow sticks goes with you into your celebrations today. So go from this place knowing God loves you, that the baby Christ comes, and that the Holy Spirit is always with you, this day and always. Merry Christmas, friends. <laughs>